Webflow is a responsive website builder that's been attracting a lot of attention lately. But how good is it really? And who is it designed for? And how much does it cost? Well, these are just a few of the questions that I will be answering in this Webflow review video for you guys. But first of all, let's start off with the basics. So a website builder is an online platform that allows anyone to create their own website without having to use code. Long gone are the days of needing to code to make a website with all of the options available to us these days in the form of a website builder. And Webflow is just one of these. So given Webflow's clear credentials, I thought I'd take a look at it and see what all the fuss is about. Because like I said, this has been attracting a lot of attention lately. And I want to know if it's worth you guys' time, if you can build a really, really nice website using Webflow. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to be going over absolutely everything you need to know about it. So Webflow, it sits somewhere in between the traditional and the modern kind of ways to build a website. It is a website builder, but it carries with it a level of customization and power usually reserved for the likes of WordPress. It's very, very customizable. And if you are familiar with coding, you are going to like Webflow a lot. So for this reason, Webflow does tend to be used by actual web designers. So it is absolutely ideal for users who don't want to bother with like all the nitty gritty code, but you need a platform that's fully customizable, okay? Because it does give you the option of, uh, of both. So let's start off talking about the ease of use with Webflow. So as soon as you do actually sign up to the platform, they do a really, really good job of onboarding you, okay? So if you're feeling confident, uh, you, you've got experience big building websites and you think you can do it, then you can just dive straight into the design process. But I would recommend going through Webflow's tutorial if you are a first time user, if this is your first time building a website, their tutorial is really, really going to help you get through it and you'll be understanding everything by the end of it. You'll have a good idea. Anyway, the ease of use uh, is, is pretty easy to use, not the easiest by a long shot, but you will get the hang of it especially if you go through the tutorial. So after you've completed your tutorial and you've picked a template, you will then enter the editor. Now, don't be shocked if you think your computer has opened up Photoshop by accident because Webflow's editor just happens to look very, very similar to Photoshop. And just like Photoshop, there are many design options to choose from. Okay, so while web designers will feel like kids in a candy shop, regular folks might feel a bit intimidated by all the tools, that all the options that you have available. You might be a little bit intimidated. There is a lot to take in. And even with the onboarding tutorial, it isn't really immediately obvious how to do a lot of things on Webflow. So as they explain, uh, though, it is best to think of your website as a series of boxes. That's the best way to think of it when you're using Webflow. It's just a series of different boxes. The box model, as Webflow calls it, is the process of creating a box for every element of your site and overlaying them on top of one another. Image boxes, text boxes, and button boxes all add up to the form to form the layout of your website. So thinking of your website in this way, makes it a lot easier to visualize what you want, but the editing can still be tricky. So if you are new to website building, I would recommend setting aside a good few hours to get the hang of Webflow before you just go in there and start creating your website. Just open up a, a random website, just create a random website, just go through it all, learn the basics of it, go through a tutorial a few times if you need to, because uh, honestly, it isn't the easiest website builder to use. Next up, let's talk about their template design because everybody loves a good template, right? It just makes things a lot easier to, to start from scratch, okay? So Webflow has actually over 100 different templates in total for you to choose from, including 40 different free ones. There's more than 40 these days. So you can filter the templates by industry, free or premium or e-commerce. 
This makes it really, really simple to find a template that suits your needs. You can even preview the designs before making your decision and see which ones support dynamic content. Now, all of Webflow's templates are responsive, every single one of them, meaning they do automatically adapt to fit different screen sizes. So depending on the device your site's visitor is using, it's going to automatically adapt to that, whether they're on a laptop, a computer, or a phone, it's going to adapt automatically. Each template also comes with a brief description which tells you what type of site is best for and what your design options are. Now, most website builders have responsive templates and let you preview their designs, but Webflow's extended templates descriptions are a very, very nice touch. I find it really, really helpful. And if you're a beginner, it's going to really help you out as well. So let's talk about the features that are available to you when building a website with Webflow. So I'm going to say, first of all, it is definitely worth taking a look in Webflow's help center called Webflow University to see what is and isn't possible because this is going to save you a lot of time trying to find a feature you think should be really simple to locate. But on Webflow, sometimes it's just not easy to locate. Sometimes the feature just isn't there at all. Uh, many of the more advanced things you can do on Webflow aren't built in. Instead, they come as integrations you can add into your site. So as you might be aware, most top website builders these days have their own app stores. Webflow integrations are very similar to an app store, but its add-ons are made by third parties, not Webflow directly. And for anyone looking to build a uh, e-commerce store using Webflow, they do have some very, very nice features for you as well. So they've got a multiple payment options feature. So as well as accepting standard credit and debit card payments through Stripe, Webflow does also let, accept uh, Apple Pay and PayPal as well. Okay, so you can use those on your e-commerce sites. Automatic tax calculations. So once a customer gets to your checkout, Webflow will automatically calculate the sales tax and VAT owed and add it on. This can save you like hours and hours and hours of time inputting different tax brackets and amending VAT costs. This is one of the best features in my opinion. All right, let's talk about Webflow's help and support. So Webflow has some really, really helpful tutorials and guides, but Unfortunately, the level of personal support leaves a lot to be desired. So let's start with the good stuff. Uh, Webflow's own help center, Webflow University, which I mentioned earlier, is an online resource where you can find guides on everything from how to use a platform to how specific integrations actually work. It's very, very well presented, easy to search, and should generally be the first place you look if you get stuck. Now, if that fails and you can't find what you're looking for on the Webflow University, then you can always hit up Webflow's community forum where users get together to discuss the platform, share their experiences, their difficulties. And if you need help with something, it's fairly safe to say someone else will have encountered the same problem. And you can just do a quick search on the community forum to either uh, find what you're looking for on there or you can write your own post and get somebody else to help you. So it's not all rosy though. So if you want to actually contact Webflow directly, it can be a bit of a hassle. Webflow currently doesn't even provide a phone number or live chat service, meaning the only way to actually get in touch with them is via email. So if you are a beginner and you think you're gonna get stuck quite a lot, that might be an issue for you. But if you are uh, experienced and you don't think you're going to need much help, then you should be okay just using the, the community forum and the Webflow University. So Webflow's response team, they are on hand 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. That is, uh, I think that's Pacific time or something like that. And you can expect a personal reply 
within 24 to 48 hours. So you can leave a message and attach files to show exactly what the problem is. And when they do actually get back to you uh, within 24 to 48 hours, they are very, very helpful. They do know what they're talking about. Obviously, they are professionals, they are experts, and they are very, very helpful. It's just a little bit difficult to get hold of them. So let's talk about arguably one of the most important parts of anything, and that is the pricing. Now, I would like to mention, first of all, that you can build a website on Webflow for free. But this is basically just for practicing and getting the hang of Webflow because you can't actually publish it online until you've uh, like upgraded your plan to the basic plan at minimum. Okay, So you are going to need to pay $12 a month to have a website live and uh, running. Uh, but the free option is available to you, like I said, just to practice and get the hang of Webflow because it is fairly difficult to get the hang of, like I mentioned earlier. Now, pricing is unfortunately another aspect of Webflow that may put some people off because it can sound pretty expensive. And that's because Webflow actually markets itself as a more sophisticated website builder, one that offers users greater creative control. So it is only natural that its prices reflect that. The problem is that the average user may not need, want, or know how to use half of the things you're actually paying for. Now, that might be a problem for beginners. For somebody like me who knows all of the features and knows exactly what I'm getting, the pricing is completely fair. I 100% understand because you do get a lot. But as a beginner, you might be looking at all of this and thinking, what is this stuff? What am I paying for? I have no idea how to use this. Why am I paying for it? But guys, it's definitely worth it because you will get the hang of it. And as you gain experience, you will start understanding what you've, what you've bought and you'll be able to start using it. Now, I can't give you the exact prices. You can see them on your screen right here, the current prices, but they are subject to change. Okay, so if you go to the description of this video, I will put a link down there that's going to contain the best current price at whatever whatever date you're watching this video. If you're watching it five years down the line, this web link down there will contain the best price for you. And that is going to be an affiliate link or a referral link. So if you do sign up to Webflow using that link, I will earn a small commission, but that's going to be at no extra cost to you. If anything, it's going to be a discount because the link down there should give you a discount. All right. So that's going to be no extra cost to you. And I'd really, really appreciate it if you could use that link. So yeah, you can see the prices, the, the prices right now on your screen. Um, yeah, they are subject to change, but they are very, very fair, like I've just said. So let's quickly summarize this Webflow review with the pros and the cons. So in my opinion, the Webflow pros are, they have a great level of design customization without having to know code. But if you do know code, then it is going to benefit you because they do have some options available for you to actually code some stuff yourself. But if you're a beginner, you have no interest in coding, then do not worry because you can make a completely beautiful, ready to go website and customize it to your liking without knowing any bit of code at all. And they do have an excellent range of templates suitable for e-commerce and dynamic content. Now, the Webflow cons is it is relatively difficult to use for a website builder, especially if you compare it to some of the bigger ones like Wix or GoDaddy or something like that. It is a little bit more difficult to use. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's worth the, the difficulty, okay? Because you can do a lot with it. The level of design customization is, is just unreal. Uh, the plans, I just mentioned this, they are a little bit expensive with prices ranging from $12 a month right now all the way up to $212 per month, which is obviously a hefty fee. But if you if it's worth it for you, then, then it's worth it for you, right? So entirely up to you which plan you want to go with. Uh, they have got prices to fit everyone's needs. And one of the biggest cons, in my opinion, is the, ch the fact that they do not have a live chat or phone support. That is it's quite a big downside, especially for beginners. It turns a lot of beginners away because of that, because obviously you are going to need help. But in my opinion, uh, the, the Webflow University and the, the forum and stuff like that, it does suffice. It is enough. I've always found what I'm looking for on one of those things because 
the the like I said, everyone's had the same problems before. The answers are always there for you. Uh, so you don't really need the live chat, but it would be nice to have. So there you have it, a full Webflow review. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and you have a full understanding of what Webflow is. If you do not yet, please drop a comment down below and I will answer any of your questions. Now, as you can see, Webflow is a website builder with a very specific target audience and one with clear strengths and weaknesses. Now, despite not being the cheapest or easiest platforms to use, Webflow does stand tall when it comes to design and customization options. Now you can customize all sorts of things without having to know code, making it feel very advanced without feeling inaccessible. The templates are well designed, mobile optimized and cover a range of industries. Webflow's features, however, are rather limited and you may well have to make use of its third party integrations. So I would recommend Webflow if you are a web designer who's looking for a way to build clients a detailed website using a platform that doesn't require coding knowledge. So alternatively, Webflow works for people who have previously used a builder like Wix or Weebly, but you want more control over the look and feel of your website. Now, because of its complex nature, Webflow, honestly, is not perfectly suited for beginners. Uh, it is good, okay, a beginner will be able to get the hang of it after a while, but like I said earlier on, you will need to set aside a good few hours before you are used to Webflow and all of its features and what they can do. It isn't the easiest, but it is definitely worth getting the hang of because of just how customizable and how good of a website you can actually make with it. So there we go. Thank you for watching my Webflow review. If you do have any questions, do not forget to comment down below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. All of this stuff really helps out the channel and I love you and appreciate you guys very much for doing that. And if you are interested in signing up to Webflow and building a website uh, using their platform, please use the link in the description down below. Like I briefly mentioned earlier, that is an affiliate link, a referral link. So if you do sign up using that link, it's gonna give me a small commission at no extra cost to you. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.